blood sugar can create aging and, and disease. So high blood sugar can cause something called glycation where it's like damaging the cells. Blood sugar elevated too long damages the cells. Mm. Another way is that high blood sugar means high insulin, the thing that, that lowers blood sugar, the hormone that lowers blood sugar. In high insulin is related to aging and it's also related to storing body fat more. We also know that type 2 diabetes is obviously related to blood sugar being elevated too long. Cancer is a metabolic disease and it's related to blood sugar. Only cancer cells um, can live off of uh, just glucose. Healthy cells can live on glucose or ketones. So if you are in a ketogenic state, cancer cannot thrive. Huh. Alzheimer's is now being called type 3 diabetes because your brain cells are becoming insulin resistant. Whoa. And so it's from blood sugar being elevated too long. And so we're finding almost every disease state. And do you know like a precursor to inflammation, and inflammation is correlated to every disease state, is glycation, is this elevated blood sugar. So we're finding that, you know, some people are like, oh, like keto, it's getting like claimed it does everything. It's the miracle thing. <laughs> well, kind of is. Like that, and this is why I'm saying it kind of is, especially in a Western society where I feel like Carbs are not necessary. We do not need carbs to live. Agreed. But they're delicious. Carbs are fine if you exercise enough. Yeah. If you move enough. Also, like our carbs are just kind of crap compared to the carbs of the rest of the world that are low glycemic, high fiber. You know, ours are just sugar. And even worse, we're combining things like most of the rest of the world just eats like a single macronutrient at a time. They might have, mm. I'm going to eat protein now. I'm going to eat carbohydrate now. I'm going to eat fat now. But we eat something like our bliss point foods are manufactured foods like that's like cake that's high glycemic, high fat. So that means it's spiking your insulin and it's high calories. Mm. So this means super high fat storage, infl inflammatory, really bad for you. Like this doesn't exist in nature. You know, there's no like food like that in nature. So um, that's where the ketogenic diet can be handy using exogenous ketones. Another thing that uh, promotes ketones that you can use is MCTs, medium chain triglycerides. And I know like a lot of people are using those in their bulletproof coffee, yeah. or whatever, <laughs> right? Um, but just uh, another hack beyond that is there's a specific MCT that's several times better at raising ketones and it's called caprylic acid. And it's, it's also named C8, and that's for the length of the, the fatty acid. It's, it's eight carbons long. But you can look up C8 or caprylic acid MCT, and that's a much better form of MCT. If you want to get more clarity, lower appetite, all the benefits you get from higher ketones.